Mom, leave me alone. I want to be famous. <laughs> that was a perfect about five seconds. Yes. Before you get copyrighted. Yeah. Before that, before that emo. I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. I'm rich and I'm white. I'm not okay. Yeah. All the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's. I gotta get a no call and quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah. Better move out the way because I'm coming with hard and hits my head. I'm sick of the heat. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Man, you've been talking about this. It's like, hey, bro, it's not like you Bruh. never lived in San Fernando Valley. I guess it's I like can, this every goddamn year. I can Man. bring it back. We Jeez. are reporting live from Sunnyside, LA, California. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I haven't heard that for a while. That's yeah. A <laughs> but that heat is, is it yeah, excessive. Heat. It's like the warnings. We yeah. need no warnings. It goes on every excessive year. War excessive heat warnings the past three days. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Did you did you guys um see that other hurricane that yeah, that Florida. happened? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. I was watching it with Tutu the other uh, night and stuff, and she said, "Keep going, guys. Keep going." But also, uh, she was very concerned with a lot of the damage that was going on down there and yeah. how people were actually going to be able to get back to working. So, I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on right now. There was a tornado in Michigan took my brother's roof off. Damn. 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 I could, Damn. you know, I should have put sent the photo in. But yeah, it's crazy, man. So he's hustling back up. But a lot of people are still without power in Lansing, mm -hmm. Michigan right now. So wow, let's shout out to them, too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, 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 in prayers to them, because, I mean, we, we sat there and as a state and we got worried about a damn hurricane that we, we don't have. And then when they really happen in the places, it's like, yeah. yeah, you know, I don't think I would. I'm living that. I, I'm cool. The, you want to talk about out of nowhere. That's where they come from. Tornadoes come quick. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. Tornado. At least you have some morning earthquakes. Like, yeah. God damn. Yeah. Earthquakes. <laughs> oh, and yeah, after the little, you know, hurricane we had, there was a little earthquake. I know. It was a baby. Yeah, it was a You feel that? It was just like, it was a rock. Yeah, it, it was, was. Just, it was smooth, yeah. though. It lingered in rock with it. It, it, it was like, and you know what sucks so bad is this all takes away, I know it's current, but it all takes away from the stuff that happened in. In, in yeah. Yes. You and yes. again, ladies and gentlemen, we will be having the great Danielle Cedar in studio next week. For sure. You know, to, you know, give her amazing story and, you know, just share her progress and everything that she, you know, has been going through. And, you know, <sighs> she's definitely a very strong individual. She's done a few uh, news reports and stuff down there on, you know, the tragedies that's going on. But uh, big ups to her and everyone else on the island. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, mm -hmm. prayers that way too. I mean, that's that's how it. I mean, everything since that started, it's just been a, it's been crazy. Mm -hmm. That's how weather is, right? What we got? Yes. Yep. Yep. So yes, like that, compadres. Welcome back to another episode. Is your host with the most from the West Coast, SB Press, reporting live from Mastermind Media, and to my left this time, Joe Rosati himself. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, he's back. <laughs> and also to my right, the <laughs> Ilsa himself. Yeah. Yes, and ladies and gentlemen, we have the man, the myth, the living legend, yeah, yet absolutely. again, Grammy Award winning producer. Yep. Right? Super duper engineer. Absolutely. And also super duper person. Person. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please welcome back Mr. Daryl Swan. We yeah. got headphones on, but he's, 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 he's got, got you. He's got, he got, got you. you. Yeah, man. Take I just hope every. I yeah, hope the audience going is here. <laughs> Upgrade's going on around here, man. I hope, I hope the audience stays ready to laugh because I, I never you laughed so hard in my life last time he was on. Oh, you man. should be a damn comedian as well, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we about to act a fool. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're looking. I'm about to show my whole ass. About to show my whole ass. No doubt, man. Let's get let's get the censorship ready. I might say some wrong shit. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Now before we dive dive super deep back into, and pause, before we, you know, dive into your awesome amazement and everything that's going on with Mosh Pit. Mm -hmm. Joe, cool. would you kindly let the folks at home know what time it is? It's the weirdo of the week. <laughs> You're weird. Oh, yeah. He said calmly. Yeah. <laughs> First time yes. I've heard it. Yes, yes, That yeah. intro was fire, man. Yeah, appreciate like it. Appreciate, appreciate it. On that. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> All right, what you got, Lance? So, yeah. what, 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 what we got today? I think we got an image popping right up yeah. back here, right? Yep, yep. I, I think Joe can preface it right to to. Yeah. Shadera. So what we do is we we put up. No, I'm saying the the the. the okay. Lord, the, he Lord, knows Lord, what Lord. this is. Who okay. Is that? So the reason why we picked this is is because the man. There's always some health issues going on right. with the man. Yes. And I don't care how you feel about the person. The media should not attack when someone is going through something with health. Yes. yes. That's my, there's no respect for it. Mm -hmm. And it pisses me off. I don't care who it is. I can go on and name a bunch of people I don't like and that I don't even know. 
I know from this. Leave him alone. Yeah. Right. There's obviously something going on. It might, he Absolutely. might be on. He's older. You know, we don't know what how much life he has left. We never do. Just leave him alone. He was the most powerful man for a long time yeah. in the Republican Party, Mitch McConnell. So, yeah, absolutely. As you know. a old school uh, street rule, you leave children and elderly people yeah. alone. Yeah. Period. True. What you What you think about this, man? I agree, hundred percent. No, I he, think he's gonna play play the play. Can you play the clip a little bit? Yeah, Check absolutely. this out. Check right. this out. Hear the question, Senator, running for re-election in 2026. All right, I'm sorry, you all were gonna need that. Oh, God bless him. Mm-hmm. That's, 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 that's my that's, point. That's, that's so, so sad to me. Yeah, God yeah. bless him. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you think, man? God bless him. I mean, he definitely has had his years of douchebaggery. Right. He will say that, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> At this point, yeah, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> I love that. I feel the same way, but it's sad how they're doing it. Is. Them. The media yeah. does people like that all the time. Man. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Right I heard he just raised a grip. He did. Of money, too. He did. <laughs> he did. Getting yeah. them bags up. But, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I know his wife is a piece, too. Oh, yeah, she is, she's, too. She's, 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 that yeah. whole... Not a, there's not enough Tylenol, <laughs> Advil, or Aleve to relieve him of that headache. <laughs> But still, Seriously. this is this is messed up how they do it. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. It's That's wrong. wrong. Yeah, it's it wrong. is. It's wrong. God bless. God bless. Uh, yeah, it's a very unfortunate situation. You know, prayers go out to him as well. Thanks. Hopefully, you know, people, you know, are aware of the circumstance and just have compassion and empathy Thanks. for people. Yes. You know, this is real, real life. Right. Regardless on what a person does. Facts. Absolutely. Facts. Okay. Absolutely. So, with that being said, we are at our awesome segment. Yeah. Oh, right. Let it fly. All right. That was All quite right. a pivot right there. Yeah. 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 From yeah. a somber moment to back to right. tomfoolery. Right. Yes. Tom Foolery. <laughs> yes. Let's go ahead and right into that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joe, could you read that for us? Oh please? yeah, we need to hear that. People at home need to too. Suspect in Uber crash that killed three in South LA was on probation in a murder case, LAPD says. Now, I thought this was very interesting when I saw it because it brings up, like, so when people get out or on probation for, a, a you know, a major crime as that, yeah. should they have a license? Should they be monitored? Should they be on the road? Mm. You know, I mean, that just it's brings up moment. the it's issue. I mean, moment. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We did go right back <laughs> again. No. I mean, let's that's, just call that's it. That's serious. That's yeah, serious. I mean, it's, it's serious. It's, it's like this. When when you come out, you're basically, you know, you've done, you done time, mm-hmm. right? right? So you should be evicted from the crime. You should be, you know, back to being able to make your way into society. Right. You're not being held back by circumstances. But there should be restrictions on certain things like this. Because when I read the article, he, like, Ran not just ran a red light. He oh. ran ran the red light. You know, just like a couple year about a year ago, that it, that big crash that happened with the mentally ill one that had her driver's license revoked all the time. Remember, it took out. We did a segment on this. Yeah, you guys yeah, remember yeah this? I do remember. Yeah, same thing with that. Like, how many chances are you gonna get? You know, it's just it's 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 unfortunate. You know, and it's just one of those things you bring up and you we look at. So what's right and wrong? What, you know, what do you do? I mean, mm-hmm. you know, what will actually happen? We'll, we'll never know, probably. I mean, he is, I believe he's alive and the three people in the Uber are the ones that died. So it's just yeah. a tragedy. That's a goddamn shame. I know, dude. Goddamn oh. shame. Yeah, man. This, but this is the good news. God damn it. We're to pivot <laughs> <into Tom Fuller. laughs> we went back to back on him. <laughs> I know, he did. That was funny, though. Oh, snaps. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's the trifecta. Oh, oh snaps. <laughs> Is that R. Kelly's ass? It's the, it's oh, the, the, it's the Pied Piper himself. This <laughs> Mr. Pied Piper. Oh, shit. Looking somber as hell. Yeah. So outside of, you know, him losing a, yet another lawsuit for 10.5 mil. Now, I was very curious on how the heck is he orchestrating this money because he's broke. He's performing in jails, like doing live performances. Oh, stuff. hell like, no. Like, no. Yeah. It's oh, real life. No. It's, yeah, it's real. So you yeah. think they're giving him a lot of money? I don't think they're giving him a lot of money, but I guess it's something to help him pay with what he owes because that's a ridiculous Man, amount. He knows the industry. What would you? What do you think? Yes, bro? that's Lord. yeah. What do you think? That's why this is a hot. It's just it's just like they 
funnel yay through the music industry just to pay for shit, man. There's some shit going on here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some shit going on here. You think he's paying? He's probably paying in another way, huh? Oh, yeah. He's, yeah, 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 he's, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the hookup. So, this, <laughs> yeah. he, everybody's getting, everybody's back's getting scratched. Yeah. yeah right. Everybody's getting a piece of the action. He's reporting live from D-Block. Everybody's getting a piece of the action. Yeah, everybody's getting a piece of action. I will say this, though. I think it's tough for a lot of people to take him into verses. If we were talking music, music. I agree with that. S slow songs, R&B. He wrote a lot <sighs> as well. Man, and he wrote, wrote a lot. A lot of hit lot songs. Of, yeah, so, so, I, I agree with you, but at the same time, the only thing I ever think about is Dave Chappelle, I want to pee on you. Man, <laughs> trip, trip, trip. I remember piss the tape on, when it came out. I remember the tape, too. When it came out. That, that was, was so in, wrong. Yeah. I think it was in like, high school. Yeah, that was so wrong. Yeah, that, that was, was so crazy. wrong. crazy. It was wrong. <laughs> Good old Dave Chappelle, man. He was, he was bold about it, too. He was Dave like, like setting the camera up in front of him, turn around. <laughs> like, bro, what you thinking? What you yeah, thinking? what was? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Only God knows. Yeah. We don't. God bless the young one. Yep. Yeah. What we got here? Okay. Lord, Lord. Yeah. So, ice, ice, spice. Go ahead and break the news, down. Lance. Yeah, yeah. Well, I really wanted to. I really wanted to spark some. Who's the best female rapper? Because I mean, people. A lot of people give that to Nikki, but Nikki just kind of like passed the mantle over to Ice Spice, like saying she's gonna be the next up and coming. I wanted your your opinion on that. Mm. I know you know this game. Mm. Do you, do, Who's now, your favorite oh, female and, rapper? And I have a, a follow-up question to compound off of that. I still yeah. like Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim? I okay. still like Lil' Kim. Okay, okay. okay. right. She's, she's rugged as fuck. She was. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lil' Kim, and she's still out there. Yeah, I know. Missy Elliott. Okay, so I'm going to hit y'all with somebody else. Oh. Mm. The Brat. Uh, no, no, Missy. The Brat? I like The Brat. The Brat? <laughs> Missy yeah. I like The Brat. Now, I'm not saying she's the goat, but she she was good for her yeah, time. Eve did her, Eve thing. Did her <laughs> thing too. Like there was a lot of MC Light. We yeah. did Queen Latifah. We can go down yeah, the list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot, yeah. I like Lil Kim. She's, Lil Kim. But, she's just the OG. Just the OG. Raw. Yeah. She's like everybody. What, in, what did you, you know? What did you think about Nikki though? You think Nikki's kind of? She's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm with her. Yeah. Now the. Sorry, Joe. I don't like shit. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> No, I don't listen to that shit. Okay, so then, so let me. I mean, I mean, I know who. The, I mean, she, I like how she's passed pass the torch. I heard a few songs, but I'm not bumping this shit in the car. Well, the, the thing is, is that it. they rap kind of more like men, and not, not to uh, be in that sense. That's why a lot of guys they cross was, over. Mm -hmm, guys listen to also, them and women, right? But it's also what I talked to Daryl downstairs about. I really don't f with anything from 2000 up. It's all the back. <laughs> it's just who I am. I think we. I think you should change your Instagram uh, to Uncle Tony. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Tony. Uncle Tony. <laughs> Uncle, what, Uncle Tony? Because <laughs> he said the <laughs> Uncle Joey reference downstairs. I know. I'm just being funny, man. You no, are no. being funny. I, I've, been called, I've been called Uncle Joe before. I don't like it. I'm not an uncle. <laughs> oh, my bad. But it's all good, though. Yeah. I have so, a lot of nicknames I take. Yeah. You know, go back to what we're saying. We got all this is how it's, this is what I love. <laughs> my my compound question off of that is, do you see it as disrespect that she's passing her the torch and not like someone like Cardi B? Or someone else. Yeah, definitely a little, so little do you, shade. You see the jet. Little okay. shade. Yeah, little shade. Absolutely. Because I'm a big Nikki. Yeah. Big Nikki fan. Yeah, yeah. Nikki's nice. Yeah. But I, I was going to sound like a parent, goddamn it. Say some <laughs> shit like that. I think it's, I think it's you know, I, I have some issue with like, you know, you know, and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, just, right. You know what I mean? It's yeah, just irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like doing the most just to. Get headlines, these little uh, girls are just. But Salt and Pepper's yeah. one that broke it. This well, dude back in the day what when that it? shit came out was crazy, dude. What's that? Oh, salt and Pepper back in the day. Yeah, they say weren't talking about. Yeah, yeah exactly. they, go, they were pretty they nasty were, though. They but, were pretty I nasty. I mean, for that time, yeah. we're really but just about overt. It. Listen, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, have you ever heard that song, Joe? Yeah. But then again, when we think about Little Kim's bars, oh, she was nasty. She's nasty. But they just, it's just shock value. Everything's just shock value. They were performing it everywhere. Huh? They were performing. I think they performed at the Grammys that year, didn't they? Shh. Something. Yeah, it's just. It's they just, were performing everywhere. I don't even know if we want to fact check that one. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Maybe not the Grammys. Another award show, a prominent one. I can't remember exactly, but yeah, I remember. I was just like, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a. It was a big deal too. Yeah. There's a lot a, of people. It's a difference. Like yeah, I feel in Hollywood, it's a difference between shock value and doing some like edgy artistic shit you know yeah, what I mean right. there's even like movies you know yeah. like scary movies where just the sound effects are too loud it's just like really you have to do all that yeah like, Duh. it's like that wasn't even nothing if someone <laughs> opened a closet door you know right. What I mean? right it's just shock no value. I agree with you I think it <clears throat> really uh, I started noticing I think it was Die Hard 4 or 5 yeah. I can't remember yeah I mean was there a 5 there's only been 4 right like 9 oh. and 
Whatever, but like, the point when the, the five, fifth one you didn't watch. I know. No, when the SUV went down the elevator shaft, I'm like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we've gone way too it's far doing now. A lot. It's, just, it's just, come it's, on, it's doing a lot. That shit again. Mark, Mark's got. Ah, I was right. Bing, 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 he was bing. Right. Mm-hmm. You ain't got a fact check around here. Yeah, got, there you go. Got, Lance, you need a lens on it. That's yeah, doing I'm a lot. Joking. That's doing I'm, a lot. I definitely need a fact check all the time. <laughs> no, that was no, that was crazy though for it to be performed there. I don't. Yeah, know. I know. Me, yeah. I, I, when I said it, I was like, Joe, he might be right. Yeah. That's doing a lot. That is doing mm-hmm. a lot. Yeah. So yeah, that was all for Let It Fly this week. So yes, Daryl, please, please. Elaborate to some of the people that are just now listening for the first time and just now watching. This is their first time seeing you. Oh, yeah. What the awesomeness of Mosh Pit is. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, brother, yes. Absolutely. Advance that thing, too. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Looks good. You came, mm-hmm. you saw, and you conquered a lot. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mosh Pit is a virtual concert creation platform. It enables anybody from home to make a virtual concert like that Travis Scott and Fortnite show. We have democratized that technology for anybody to do that. Moshpit started back in 1997. It was really crazy because I don't want to go too deep, but I saw the, <clears throat> the, the, where do I start? I was following the internet, right? When Wired Magazine came out in 1992, I was like, man, I'm home, right? The first edition, Mark Andreessen, who now is a huge VC, right. he developed something called Mosaic. That was the first browser that turned into Netscape, and then Google followed after that. That was the first browser, so I was like, man, the internet. So I was totally caught up in the internet thing. At the same time, video game consoles were brand new because video games in the 70s and the 80s were all in arcades. So Nintendo and Sega and Panasonic put out these home units, and everyone was like, some <laughs> right? right? But it started to trend. So Sony was like, in the mid-90s, I guess we should throw out a, uh, we should throw out a machine, right? We're an electronics company. Boom, they pulled the Forrest Gump and ended up <laughs> around and selling crazy amounts of PS1s. PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation. Play, PlayStation. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's so, funny. He's got the hat on the deck. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. mm-hmm. So when I saw that, so when I saw the that pivot in Sony doing that, I was like, wow, this is a viable business model. Because before that, it was still a niche kind of like, you know, homegrown thing with, you know, the Sega, Nintendo, and the Panasonic. People were messing around. Everything was CD-ROM based also. Right. Mm-hmm. Blah, 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 blah. I also saw... That as many people did also, that file sharing was on the horizon, mid '90s, late '90s. The funny thing is that I was doing some uh, some good records at that time, and I had access to the heads of labels, right. you know, just because I was working on some 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 decent artists. So, and their attitude was, we don't. What are you talking about? We don't make video game. What are you talking about? Because I saw the convergence of video games and music. Because I saw that the music industry, if they didn't adopt these new things from some file sharing and incorporating with other mediums of entertainment, they're going to die, which right. they did. But the labels were just like, ah, we sell these silver shiny things for 20 bucks. What the <laughs> are you talking about? We don't want people uh, you know, download a song. People don't want to hear music on their right. computers. Right, right. You know, we making a killing. God damn it. Right. You know, they, seriously, yeah. that was their attitude. They were, <laughs> they were in their ivory tower eating shrimp, you right. know, doing yeah. lots of coke, yeah. you know, and, and having sex with teenage hookers. You know, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. blind at the wheel. Blind at the wheel. Yes, I said it. They were doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> they were drunk with money. God I'm damn it. Sip to right. that. Yes. <laughs> So that being said, I put together. Do you together, think the shrimp did the cocaine first before they were doing the shrimp and cocaine? Oh, they got to do shrimp ate, first. After you do coke, you don't want to eat. You don't want to eat Got to get shrimp the system first. going. Shrimp first, right? Right. <laughs> Take a cocktail dump. sauce. Then you do. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely oh, don't want to eat after you start the <laughs> start A. Yeah, right. <laughs> Okay, just make a long story short. That's fine. Uh, long story longer. Here we go. So I saw the 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 advent of gaming and music and file sharing. So I put together this this three level demo called Mosh Pit, where you control a bouncer on a concert stage, right? And so your job it was a role playing game like Tomb Raider where you roam, but basically you control a bouncer on a concert stage. And so there was this whole backstory where this clandestine like you know evil. Uh, touring company was scanning the likeness and life force of these artists so basically you were in charge of protecting these bands on stage right Right. and so the bands would be uh, green screened in and on sprites on the stage 
and then you as the bouncer could play the bouncer. So you'd have to fight bad guys and groupies and stalkers on stage, <laughs> so cool. backstage, on route. It was a playable guy. I still have the demo. It's crazy. Right. So I shopped this thing around Activision, EA, blah, 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 so many different things. Because at that point, barriers to entry to the game industry were still very low. These game publishers were brand new. Right. So getting access to meetings to these people were very easy. So I would show it. I took probably 30 meetings. Took my computer in there and played it. They were like, this is really great, but there's right. no business model. I was mm -hmm. like, let's make one, fool. Right. <laughs> and then at the same time, I showed it to music labels. And they were like, ah, oh, this is cool, but we don't make video games. It's like, you're about to die. You know, you, right. need, you need to <laughs> with this. Right. You need to <laughs> with this. Sounds so good. after many, 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 many meetings, meaning probably 40, 50 meetings, carrying the computer on the plane, buying its own seat, the computer had its own seat, name of computer and so <laughs> going to new york going to florida i finally That's crazy. was represented right. by uh, a guy named larry shapiro at caa yep. and they had just started an, an entertainment electronic entertainment uh, uh division at caa this is like 97 and i was being managed by a guy named michael Littman, who was a big manager he managed like matchbox 20 and santana and this and that so i was really in some good company Larry Shapiro introduced me to Sam Hauser, who created Grand Theft Auto, the first Grand Theft Auto. Right. And at that time, the late 90s, Tipper Gore was in Congress saying how bad Grand Theft Auto was. Right. Like, we're talking about right. So you're saying, oh, this Grand Theft Auto game is terrible. You can buy hookers. You can, you can kill people. Right, yeah. And that made the kids be like, I'm playing, playing that shit. That shit for sure. I She's saying did. I shouldn't play it. I'm playing it. Right. Which made the sales of GTA go crazy on GTA 1. So we came in, I met Sam Hauser right as GTA 1 was starting to trend, and he was like, man, this Mosh Pit shit is dope. Mm -hmm. and, you know, like, the PlayStation 2 is about to come out, Christmas 2000, this and that. It's got the real estate and the processing power for all the graphics, all this stuff. I was like, man, I've arrived. I'm sitting in his office, big ass beard, holy ass jeans, worth $100 million. Just, just straight up baller style. Baller style. Yeah, just baller style. Just yeah. like, it. You're like, I'm yeah. rich as long as there's like a holy ass shit. Right? Right. And so, That's uh, funny. yeah, the deal died. That deal died. Just to wrap this story up, and I'm going to get to where we are right now, which is the deal died Christmas 2000 because the PlayStation 2 did not ship enough units. Sony did not ship enough units of the PlayStation 2 Christmas 2000. Mm, it was crazy because that year, Christmas, before Christmas 2000, you had to go to like Toys R Us six months before and get like a voucher. Yeah. Because there was such a demand right. for the PS2. For it sure. was crazy. Yeah, I but remember. Sony was not able to put enough units out into the world. They only put like 20 million units out. So all the game publishers that were poised to make uh, PlayStation 2 games pulled back because they were like, Damn, there's not enough units out there for us to put these millions of dollars in developing these games for this thing. Yeah. Let's hold back until there's enough units, then we'll boom blink. So that killed my deal, broke my heart. Barriers to entry went up on the game industry. A couple years later, Guitar Hero and Rock Band came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I saw those commercials on TV, it was, I would get like physically nauseous. I'm like, see, they weren't my game, you know, in terms of a, a role playing game. They were more just a Twitch game, right? Like, you just reflex kind of thing. But still. And at that point, now the labels are like, oh, can I get a song in that game? <laughs> All you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> told you, you all are dying. At that time, ringtones were the only things that were, because right. file Saving sharing, people, yeah. Sign, yeah, from 1999 to 2001, the literally record sales died by like 50 to 60% because of file sharing, because they should have been like, Sean Fanning, come here, bro. Let me holler at you. We're the record industry. What's the software you got? Right. Not too many people know about this year, right? All right, let me fuck with you. Come here. Hmm. All right, you're gonna, we're going to bring you into our fold. We're going to put a front end on this thing. We're going to teach people how to download a song. Mm -hmm. Okay, hey, cool. Did right. they do that? No. no. Mm -hmm. So it went rogue and then LimeWire, wow, next yeah. thing you know. Napster. Napster. You know, exactly. Yeah. Napster, exactly. LimeWire, this and that. So that all being said, where are we now? Where are we now? I'm going to wrap this story up and I'm going to shut up. <laughs> nah, right. I put the game away after the barriers to entry went up on the on the game industry. Everything consolidated. The game publishers consolidated all the best developers, and that's why games now are just like films. They're just right. hundreds of millions of dollars. Where before you could literally make a triple A game for a couple hundred thousand dollars. A couple hundred thousand dollars, you could make a triple A game. But with the consolidation, stupid, just just like film studios, just the money's just stupid. So that being said. 2014 comes, Facebook buys Oculus. I'm like, I'm back. It's a brand new, <laughs> it's a brand new platform, which is VR. 
right? So obviously, we built a game for Moshpit for the uh, for VR. We were going to release that shit on Steam 2018. We decided to pivot and make a platform instead to enable enable millions of DIY artists to create their own concerts, interval concerts. Nothing like that exists. Yeah. So, and when 2020, when COVID hit, and then the Travis Scott performed in Fortnite, that was absolute proof of concept that we were like, this is a viable market. So, yeah. that all being said, we are finally coming out with our shit this Christmas, nice. 2023. Mm -hmm. nice. Lance was part of the early development right yeah, here, right, back right. in the day. Yeah. He's That's team. awesome, yeah. I'm yeah, bad. his voice That's is awesome. actually yeah. still in, in this XL. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's I could go on and on, but yeah, it's been a it's been quite a journey. I tell you, it's oh my god, it's the most <laughs> difficult thing I've done. Some I've had some success in my life and done some hard shit. This is absolutely the hardest I shit bet. I've ever done. Tense. Well, you know, yeah. it's like Heat was on the market for twenty years until it got made. It took a while for everything to work out for you. Sometimes the movie Heat, yeah, that, you know, you know, it was on the market twenty. It, they were they, yeah. it took them twenty years to make that film. Amazing. There's other uh, stories like yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's awesome that you kept on going and going and got it done. That's awesome, man. I'll you share one quick that. story with, with you, real fast. Yeah. This is a documented story. Something that really inspires me was uh, the uh, um, CEO of FedEx. FedEx. He in the '60s he had a uh, he had an idea for this a uh, uh, small package delivery service right and so he did he did a master's mm -hmm. you know his math for his thesis he did that and his teacher his professor was like this will never work yeah. I'm gonna give you a C <laughs> of course I'm gonna give you a C so he went you know served in uh, I think Vietnam or something like that or whatever and came back and he's like I'm gonna start my business Fuck, I'm gonna start my business so he started a small Midwest regional delivery service called FedEx right. And but what happened was the the oil embargo of the 70s, you know, with OPEC and uh, Carter and all yep, that stuff yep. that absolutely killed because he relied on that fuel. Absolutely. And so there was a point where his money that he had raised got down to five thousand mm. dollars. He was asking his pilots to use their personal credit cards to pay for gas wow. to get deliveries done. He got down to five thousand dollars in the bank. He's like, I'm going to Vegas. He went to Vegas. He won $27,000 with that $5,000 wow. last night before the business died. That money, that twenty seven, dollars bought him like a week more of runway for his company. He was able to parlay that into a loan, and the rest is history. Wow. And that's, wow. A, that's a real story. That's a that's testament crazy. to, he is like, he's like, too many people had invested <coughs> in me, and I was not going to just give up. Yeah. I'm going to go out swinging. Just and so that, that was teacher, one of man. those stories that just shows that, you know what I mean? Like persistence, persistence, persistence. Mm -hmm. That's right. Absolutely. So, I was going to say to that teacher, sometimes being a smart ass ends up being a dumbass. But, yeah. you, hear that, <laughs> but you hear that all the time. You do. Well, it happened, it happened to Adam Sandler. Mm -hmm. he, he talked about this recently. He invited him out to buy him a beer because the, the story goes, the, the, press, the professor at the school he was at, I think he was at NYU at the time, I'm not 100% sure, sits down and has him a beer and he goes, you're not made to be an actor. Well, years later, he saw the same professor at the bar and bought him a beer and was just so humble about it. And I, I think, you know, when you look at, <clears throat> I think when we look at life and all the professions, professors, teachers, they, their egos are so big. I know, yeah. yeah. And they, they they might be telling the truth sometimes, but they're belittling people Absolutely. too much. It's, it's ridiculous. And that story there to hear that, I'm more impressed about he wanted to go take five Gs to Vegas. And he was like, that, that's a straight up gamble. He's like, he's like I, what you else know, I got to lose? I can so, either cash in or i could swing this bat yeah one more story steve harvey had me rolling he's like he's like uh he said uh yeah like in third grade and teacher said write on a piece of paper everybody you guys hear the story yeah. write on a piece of paper everybody what you want to be when you grow up and so he's like people wrote doctor lawyer fireman he's like i had the best answer i was like i want to be on tv yeah. i want to be on tv and so he's like he was the last one. He's like, man, no one said what I want, what I said. So I can't wait to read my shit. Right. So he got up there and he said, I want to be on TV. He's like, but I had a stuttering problem. I had a stuttering mm, problem at the time. I remember this. You remember the story? Yeah, yep, and I his do. teachers, his teachers like said, Does anybody know how are you gonna be on TV with a stuttering problem? <laughs> Is anybody you know ever been on TV? This and that and blah 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 blah. He's okay. like, he's like, every Christmas. I bet that teacher a flat screen TV. Every <laughs> <laughs> I don't want her to miss me on TV. That's yeah. funny. That's He's funny. like, that's a real story. It is. That that's is a funny. funny story for sure. Oh, man. I believe that's him, hilarious. too. That's hilarious. And when you got, yeah. Full I mean, testament like to, you know, and I have this on my war board and stuff. The last thing on my war board says, stay humble. Stay humble throughout it all. First thing is thank God. 
but the last thing is stay humble. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, yeah, that story is a full testament to do that. That yeah. really is. That yeah. really is. Because, you know, if you win, that's 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 enough putting in someone's face. You know yeah. what I mean? It's yeah. Just win. Mm -hmm. Just win. You don't have just to like. Win. You don't, you don't have to puff yeah, up. Shit on them. Yeah. Just win. Yeah. Just yeah. win. Yeah. And that's what I do with this. With this shit. I'm telling. You, we've had. We've had a, just like many startup companies. You're gonna have. It's said. You're gonna have near death experiences. Near death experiences. And if you've had near death experiences and you get through them, there's a good chance that you're gonna get through. So we've had a number of near death experiences. <laughs> right. I mean, near death mm, right. experiences. God damn sure. it. And each time you come through it. You're just like, God damn it, I can do this shit. Right. God would not have brought me, the universe would not have brought me this far and saved me this. Because I've heard too many stories of successful entrepreneurs who've had near-death experiences, but it's that one or two people that just stayed in the trenches and just said, F*** this, I'm doing this, we're doing this. And they found a way. I mean, you think about it, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a mouse in a trap. You know, there's a way out, but if the mouse... Stops at some point, you lose. That's what most people do. They try a few different ways, and they're like, "It's not going to work." Right. But if you keep trying, if you keep trying, there is a solution. There is a solution, and that's yes. something that entrepreneurs do: is they figure out, they make a lot of wrong moves, and figure out what not to do, and keep going and figure it out. Because there's mm -hmm. always a solution if you want it to happen. I know it's like a motivational teacher. No, right? no, that's no. That's, no that's, you, you, that's why, why would you say you are motivational? We do oh, that man, here. That's what we you, do. You can here. be, you can be funny, motivational at the same time. <laughs> exactly. I mean, this happens. Well, well, I can act a fool too. I can act a fool too. Have a question for us? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so because it segues right into so, the grit. So, so yes, compadres, we still have our subscriber questions of the week. So um, who wants to go ahead and kick off their subscriber? Yeah, let me. I, it segues oh, perfect into so, yeah. what he was just saying. Perfect. That's perfect. Why I, go, go ahead. <laughs> they, they, they got that audio. For yes. Sure. Um, so Clarissa underscore V said, if you had any superpower, but for only for a day, what would it be and how would you use it? Wow. Oh my God, that's a really good one. Yeah. That's man. a really good question. I know. Yeah. Super. That's why I was like, uh, I like that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Superpower for a day. Shut up, Clarissa. Wow. And how would you use it? What would you what would it be and how would you use it? That is really something. Right. Man. You just said a superpower in your last soliloquy talking about, mm -hmm. you know, what we were just discussing. So I was just like, oh, that's a perfect segue. Yeah. Man, that's a great question. Well, I'll say this. I'll I'll make it more of a tangible superpower. Got as you. opposed to an, 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 an yeah, intangible yeah, yeah. superpower. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, yeah, gotcha. It would be like, oh yeah, if I could read minds. Right, right, right. right, 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 right. right. I, could, I like that. You know, I like or that. I could go back in time or something. Mm -hmm. No. I like I'll that. say this. Uh, a superpower that I'll say this one superpower that I know that I do possess is grit and persistence. I may not. I was that kid in school who I even told you that story last time about Dan Christie, right? Yeah. Come in late, get an A on the test and leave early. Where my ass still be taking the taking the test during recess. I get out for recess, ding ding ding, ah, oh, recess over. So. I was that guy that got stuff last, but I, I always got that most improved player. So it's that it's that grit and the per persistence and that determination. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so that is the su a superpower that I have developed. I might not be the sharpest guy. I might not be the quickest, you know, uh, uh, comprehensive person. But what I do have is I got a strong ass back. Right. I got a strong ass back. <laughs> strong back, and I have the ability to not judge myself against the progress of others yeah. and not take in other people's doing. Cause I, I, I bring people into, into, uh, into, uh, and this is not a, a derogatory thing, creators or consumers like building airplanes. I'm a consumer, you know, but people that build airplanes are like, God damn it. You know how much work it took to make this. <laughs> but, but I get on it. But in terms of media or, you know, software, I'm a creator right. you know, or a music person. I'm a, I'm a creator. So and I tell people, like a lot of my students, I'm like, like, are you a creator or are you a consumer? If you are a creator, people that are putting shit out there, like the Nimue Nages and the different people, they are busy creating yeah. for the consumers. Mm -hmm. You know, as opposed, if you're a creator, you cannot be consuming in <laughs> of everyone else's right. shit. Right. You know what I mean? You have to facts. be a creator because they're not following your big, shit. Big time. So yeah. that's me. That's it. Uh, focus, persistence, grit, and conviction. Conviction to you that inner voice in you knowing because most people cannot see without saying it and that's something that i have really really learned it's like you have to like be like just because these other people cannot see it i see it mm -hmm. i see it 
and I'm going to bring it to, to fruition. Yeah. That's a really excellent question. I'm going to be marinating on that all night. <laughs> thank you, Clarissa, Man, for that what question. A great I was about answer. to say, yeah. Well, I'm thank for you. sure. For thank sure. You. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was excellent. Who wants to, who wants to tackle that one <laughs> next? Because. I was I mean, kind of going to lead to something. Gonna, I, I don't think, say, like, I think we're good. Something funny, like the invisible. Yeah. It's like, well, for me, I was going to say, <laughs> but, well, if this was like, you know, Captain Planet, then I have heart, you know? Yeah. Right. I have plenty, plenty of heart. Yes. That's the one thing that I cannot, like, take away from myself. Yes. Definitely have a, heart, a lot of heart. And everything that I most likely put everything into, it, it, it comes back. There it comes you go. back. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's lack of ego. Also, that's all. That's something that is a is a ring theme through our company. We have you know a development team, mm -hmm. 15, 16 people right now, and we have a number of people that work with us. And our mantra is no ego, no oh, ego. Facts. We always say that because you think about it, ego is. I mean, we need a little bit of ego. It's like having a little spice and some yep. chili. You yep. need a little bit. Of need a little bit. That's what makes you back. Well, that's Absolutely. confidence. That's yeah. confidence. It's ego. But when yeah. you're purely confidence operating from ego, that's the killer yeah. of most shit. It is. Yeah, but you know, but but here's the, I, I don't know if I said this to you before. I think I've said it before. What's the sister to ego? Fear. Mmm, that's exactly right. 100%. So when 100%. you meet people that have these humongous egos There's and something behind think it. they got a 15 foot Yes. And everything else, they're scared. One hundred percent. Damn, there's something Joe. behind it. Yeah, there's there's something behind it. With the triple X style, right? You, you, you know what I'm talking. One hundred percent, bro. You, you meet them all the time. Bro. There's something behind that. Yeah. There's something behind that. It falls like, on that one. Well, Ego. Hey, look, Clarissa, I would. I was gonna say invisible. I was like, I fly. I'd like to fly. Can I just fly out of this right <laughs> now? <laughs> you guys like to fly? I was gonna say something. I already, I, I'd you know, like to have a two foot long. For like a week. I already you know, run really fast. I said 15 <laughs> feet. I said 15 feet. Guys, you couldn't guys, do nothing with it. It'd just that, be man. fun oh, to be God. like, oh, but that's some real shit. That, that's, you know? <laughs> See, we just took, took some oh, bright yeah. shit and turned yeah. it, turned it. Oh, those are clips. We'll that just, was nice. Yeah, we'll go ahead and yeah, clip, clip that, Ricky. <laughs> he will. That was oh my gosh. Good set. That was good. Yes. That was your question. That was so our you. subscriber question of the week. Um, unless anybody has another. No, I'm about ready to drop. I'm about chest. ready to drop my question to Daryl right, right now. My right, favorite Joe. question. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. You want to wait a minute? I'll wait a minute. Okay. No, whenever you want. I'll drop right now. All right, man. You said not what? Yeah. I'm with you right now. That's why I was warning him. All right, Joe. No, this like, is this is a great question, and, and, and it's fun, and him. it's serious at the same time. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Mm. I think it Another would be. marinator. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is a great one. We cooking that up here. That is a great one. I would say ego. I would say ego. Ain't no I would wrong with that ego. one. I love that, too. I, love yeah. I would mm -hmm. say ego. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you think about it, man. Mm -hmm. And dogma. And dogma. Yeah, dog. And dogma. Ooh. Dogma. Cause you think about it, man. It's like, man, how many wars have been fought over dogma? You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, it's tradition. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Ego, ego and dogma. Yeah. I would say that if I could change I one that. thing. Because and we haven't heard that one yet. Right. That amazing. Talk, I mean, when you're like trying to create like, uh, you know, music or, or, or software or a business, the only way to, to move things forward is to speak honestly and listen to others and reason and say, you know what? I don't like that. Cool. No problem. As opposed to like being butthurt about shit. Right. That's mm -hmm. the killer of all progress. Right. You know, dogma, ego, you know? So that's, that's what I would say. hundred percent. That's a great answer. I love it. Thank you. I could definitely we, we've go. Had, I could every definitely one go of those is great, that. but yo, it's great, man. That was a good answer. Thank you. Especially how everything else we we're talking about tied into it. Yes. I got something for him. That's your, that's if you had a theme song to life, what would it be? Oh my goodness! To your life. Mm. Oh my goodness! A You're a musician. You 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 play all these instruments. Like what what has your whole life? What is what has been the one that you always go back to? I know I got one. I know everybody a here. Specific probably, song or? Of a specific song or genre. Even it doesn't have to be. You know, however you feel like. Oh it. my goodness! Damn. If you want, if you really yeah. wanted to do a specific you song, throw, man. Throw Tyson uh -huh. uppercuts. <laughs> yep. Rock them soccer boots. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Man, these are provocative. Yeah, man. These are great, great, great. I thought we was going to be acting a fool. Up here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know. Oh, hey. I can't wait to oh, go there. I can come with mine next. Yeah, yeah. we got, oh, we got plenty of time left. Don't worry. Yeah, we got plenty of time, bro. <laughs> Theme song. Oh, my goodness. Mm, I know. It's on God. the spot a little bit, huh? Damn. Wow. That's a good one. <laughs> so many. I know. So many. 
so many. Give us, give, all right, let me make it easier. Give, your, give us your top five, top ten. Top five yep. songs? Well, how about, I would say something, my favorite group is Pink Floyd. Got you. That's my favorite group. So I would say and I, I love Pink Floyd because they uh, they always speak of uh, you know uh, you know the human struggle. They yeah. always talk about you know perspective. Yeah. They have really good perspective in terms of uh, in terms of uh, you know just human nature, in terms of society, in terms of you know war, good and evil, this and that. So boy, man, they're so Fan- fantastic writers too. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Absolutely, mm-hmm. they're so under uh, underrated. Yeah, they've influenced so so many. God, man, that's a really good question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to marry on that, man. Uh-oh. Man, you're gonna, you're, you're you gonna have me, shuffle have me over going tonight. tonight. <laughs> that's a good. That's another good one. Like a hard one for you, then. Well, you answered it. You said Pink Floyd. What song would you have, Lance? If I. If I if, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that bitch. What, what, how's it going? Damn, I can't remember how it even goes now. That's all I know. Uh, but uh, uh, shit, man. I would probably. I would say. Probably one to if I had to listen to it every time, probably it would probably be a troublesome 1996 from Tupac. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, that's personal reasons. Mm. I'm a troublesome. Da, 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 that's hard. Da, da, da. That's hard. Yeah, that yeah, it got me through years of 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 what you were talking about. Mm. So yeah, I mean, mm. I know it's not orthodox. Some people would say maybe you know some Eminem or something, but now yeah, that two that that's that's fresh. That's fresh. All right, so he Tupac was prolific. Uh, you hit him in the in the in the mind with that one. Yeah. I'm gonna hit him in the gut. You can hit him in the heart. Well, so, what about your I'm, song? I'm gonna get to okay. it. Is... Return of the Mac. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Return of the Mac. Oh, that's that's the joint. I love yeah. it. That's, that's the right. joint. Yeah. He hit that one song. He's like, I'm that's good. It. That's yeah. I'm, out. I'm gonna go live. God damn <laughs> reals, man. Yeah. That was a ever last. It still plays. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, you hear it too. It's a smash. They play in the club. It's a smash. I like that one. What about you, Joe? Free oh. Fallen by Tom Petty. See? Oh. See? Fresh. No, nah, that got me through some shit a couple of times. Well, recently, too, it's been helping. Right That's there. a good one. It's funny with the music. It's like, I don't think, I mean, well, everybody here, I mean, it just influences life so much when you do it. I mean, you, everything's better with music. Mm-hmm. But, you know, there was some times the last couple of weeks, you know, I'd be trying to listen to something over here, like, mellow. It wasn't time to listen to that shit, so mm-hmm. I need to put that shit on the bang. So, you know, I put some E-40 on or Tupac or, mm-hmm. you know, I just, you got to get, Pumped up and ready to go, or yeah. like you know what's crazy too? Even that Rocky Four soundtrack, <laughs> that <laughs> shit is f- hard, bro. Mm. bro. Sound is sound. Yeah. humans. Like, yeah, there's very few Vibration. options we have, mm-hmm. right? Vibrations. We see, yeah. we hear, we we yeah. you know, we have senses, and that's it. I mean, and what stimulates it stimulates it, right? That's why 100%. music is so important. And that's it's what, crazy how 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 with with music. I mean, you think about it, it's like you know the sound of it's crazy in terms of production because. It's the Absolutely. first the sound of a sound like an old church bell, like boom. Right. That evokes emotion in it people. Does. Some people might think of Dracula. Some <laughs> other people might think of their parents passing. passing. Right. They might think of like some old horror movie. Mm-hmm. Church it on evo- Sunday. Church on Sunday. Just the sound of a bell. And so the way you syncopate that sound against other sounds creates this collage of vibrations. Facts. And that's and that's truly the if you I always say that if you can evoke an emotion in a person with your music, you are winning. Right. Yes. If right. you can evoke an emotion, right. if you can evoke an emotion, period, yeah. might be one sound that is nostalgic to them or whatever, or a common theme, whatever, lyric, it's that you're winning. You're winning. Absolutely. You're winning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the bell's so important, man. I mean, remember, I mean, for hundreds and <laughs> thousands of years, they'd ring it mm-hmm. for dinner. Mm-hmm. People be out, you know, in the fields and doing what they got to do. And or yes. else, or they would ring yeah. for, I, I'm uh, sorry. The reason why I started laughing was in that scene <laughs> in Whiplash. <laughs> you, you guys seen Whiplash? Yeah. No, I've seen Whiplash. You haven't seen Whiplash? No. You've seen it? Well, explain it. Okay, so Whiplash is a movie about this guy's. You know, he has a jazz band. This kid comes in. He's a percussionist. He's on the drums, and J.K. Simmons. Uh, and I just remember the scene. He's in there and he he's with the drummer to get to get all his beats down and everything. And he's sitting next to him with the Cowbell with Ooh. a stick. <laughs> you, you were the scene. He's just sitting there. Shit. Ding, dun, 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 ding, dun. Ding. 
You haven't seen that movie? You gotta watch that, that movie. I definitely need to see that too. It's a, good movie. It's a great film. And it then really when is. he said that, that's what I thought about because yeah. he was just. He said ringing for dinner. I was thinking also they would see, for, ring it for beheading stuff. Yeah, they would do it for a lot of things. The, the bell. Yep. Yeah. In, in China, right? In China right now, they still have a bell system. But yeah, mm. that was a good. That was a, well, wow. They warn people, you know, for. By each person, ping, and then another mile away, and they have them perfectly crafted. What? Where you can hear it yeah. all the way to the city. Damn. What's that mean? Straight your ass up. Yeah. 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 Something's coming. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. <laughs> Get to the wall. Something's coming. <laughs> so Straight up. I have a question going off of there. Yeah, let's do it. If you could bring back one artist to the land of the living. Oh, wow. That's who cool. would it be? Ooh. I like I told this. You. This we, is we, a we great hit, episode. Ooh. We're hitting hard today. Man. That's fresh. Perfect for D. Mm-hmm. That's fresh. That's fresh. Mm. And we went that to the point where we ask you a good one. Yeah. Like, man. Now, now, now with this one, with on this, this one, I'm not going to give you a top five. <laughs> man. I need that solid one. Bro. Put you on the spot on Bro. this And it's a tough one. Because the brilliance that you've You've, music you've been able to share your brilliance with in the music industry. Mm. Seriously, yeah, this is going to be yeah, a tough I know, one. You know a lot of, yeah. So who, who would it be, man? Two come, two come to mind. You said one. Oh man! <laughs> oh, I'll give you an honorable. I'll give you an honorable mention. Uh, honorable I'll give you mention. one honorable, one honorable mention. mention. Okay, cool. Good. That sounds good. <laughs> one, one, one that comes to me is Hendrix. I was going to say that's Hendrix. that's, that's, that's one that came in my Hendrix. head. Hendrix. And there's another one I had in my head right now too. Yeah. So we might be on the same page. I want to see what you say. I was gonna say maybe Miles, but Miles was yeah. on some other. But maybe yeah. like uh, uh, Miles John was Lennon. Cold. John, John Lennon. Lennon was yeah. John Lennon. Yeah. What you got, Lennon? Musically. But I think Hendrix. Uh, um, I mean, probably going that far. I mean, Hendrix definitely. And if I'm gonna go honorable mention, because Hendrix, you know, they call him Purple God, right? Even the white people at that time respected him. Yeah. As the best guitarist. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like we just say Jimi Hendrix because it's right. Jim, Jimi Hendrix is a cool name to say. He definitely was very talented. Uh. I really personally I'm from Midwest but we rocked with the East Coast tough and Biggie Smalls Notorious B.I.G. was one of the great lyricists oh 100% that we knew love and mm-hmm. I think what passed away at 23 yeah, I would love to see a uh, Biggie album right now I mean could you imagine mm-hmm. I mean my goodness I saw the most beautiful thing I was at this uh this like I don't know like a, a uh, studio session and there was this this young white kid, right? Just cool little white kid, maybe seven years old. And he had a Biggie shirt on. Yeah. I was like, that's world peace <laughs> that's right there. World peace. That's world peace right there. And he was right. He was like, what? It's years he later. He was so down. He was yeah. just like, mm-hmm. to right. him, it was just second nature. It's like, no, like, fuck and in, with this. In Asia, and his they, father said, he yeah, picked this shirt. In Asia, they all wear Biggie and Pac and, you yeah. know, yeah. it's crazy. 100%. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Hendrix also, because Hendrix, Truly was a bridge yes. between black and white, he was. between cultures. He had a beautiful spirit. Yep, did. He was a humble, humble fellow. Like he was on Dick Cavett show, and uh, he was a uh, he made a great comment. Dick Cavett said, "So uh, you know, they're saying that you're the best guitarist in the world." He's like, "No, I'm just the best guitarist in this chair." Yeah, I was like, "So, so that's so I was like, humble." I'm he the was. best guitarist in this chair. Yeah. You know? Addiction, man. That that just you know, that sucked. Yeah. What happened with him? Yeah, yeah. He was a bridge. He was absolutely would have been a catalyst. Oh, he would have. He would have been like Mandela, a, a Mandela in terms of just, just you know, bringing people together. Yeah, lowering those barriers. I mean, he was Marley before Marley, huh? Oh, Marley too. Forget about <laughs> how, you, how you forget Marley? Another one of my no, no, no. I was, but no, I one of my like favorites. I'm so well, sorry. Well, I thought you were gonna no. say it second. I thought that's yeah. I didn't know. No, so when, when you said Jimmy, then I, I go yeah, and then the, the, the second Bob, I thought you were gonna yeah. say Bob. I don't think you guys were gonna be yeah. Bob one hundred percent. Bob one hundred percent. No, but there's Bob. I mean everyone is with we're, we're, the answers we're giving right now. They're all Bob. great. Great. Bob, you know? I mean, yeah, right? Bob. Yeah, yeah. Bob. Not, love Miles, but yeah. he was he was on some other. Yeah, Bob. You know, Bob. No, I'm sorry, yeah. Bob. Absolutely. Go ahead. What you got? I got the man himself, Mr. Purple Rain. Oh yeah, Prince. I like that. I, I would love one. to see have a to? the real live, hmm? you know, shirts versus blouses. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to really see him, you know, hoop and stuff like that. But on top of that, just how much of uh, his music now today that you still hear, mm-hmm. I would love to hear new sounds from him today. Mm-hmm. If that was, if there were a possibility, so right. it's just like his brilliance hearing it today right. would be like again monumental. Mm, that's a good, that's a good one. one. I like mm-hmm. that. 
So it's since like, everyone took my peeps, and I still can't believe it didn't, uh, this name didn't come up. Uh, well, hey, look, that's why you're here, Bob. Well, you were we were said Bob, but yeah, Pac. Uh, well, yeah. Once he said Biggie, I, yeah. I stayed away from Pac. Yeah. Yeah. Pac. Pac. <laughs> Every once everybody said something, I just stayed away from the next. I mean, Pac was just that's how this game goes. He was yeah. so just he was ahead of the times in so many ways, and just such a yeah, yeah. he was just so. Yeah. Amazing. He does yeah, he Pac was, too. He, he ain't lying. Super, no, because I, I went to, I, yeah. went, I, went, I went to yeah. the museum out here when it was here. I went to and did that I was amazed by all the the books and this everything with his bars and all the songs, yeah. all the notebooks, yeah. everywhere, everything he did was yeah. just what is lineage to him? His mother was a black yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. It's just like just the lineage of that. Absolutely, hundred percent. You know, it's so funny too. You talking about uh, Prince? It was always that Michael Prince thing. Yeah, yes. kind of things. Yeah. I was always a Michael guy. Yeah, you know. I Prince, so but funny. I was always a Michael guy because I just thought I, me personally, I equated as a youngster Prince with like Madonna, yeah, you know, mm. just in terms of the, the you know, the, the flamboyant attire, yeah. So I thought it was more like sounds so stupid, but as a dumb boy, I thought it was more girl music, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. I get but it. But obviously, as you well, know, I think you know, because we're, Mike we're, was we're, like a dude. we're yeah. similar yeah. in age, right. you know, there's not too much difference with our age, and I agree with you because, yeah, Prince was always one of those high heels and all that, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, so I was like, 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 you like, know, I was like, I thought it was more, music. yeah, like not leaning his, towards his like, style, yeah, towards trust me, like, but hey, no, but you gotta remember, culture club, you gotta remember, I was like, he was a genius. You better remember we walking in the house in my socks. So yeah. I was a big Michael see, guy. We were, we were I was a Michael coming. Jackson the fourth we were grade. Kids, I was a big Michael. <laughs> we were yeah. we were little kids seeing that. It was we, it was different. Yeah, it was, it was different, different to see little dude. You're like, oh, it's for it's girls. Yeah, like, music's cool, but it's for girls. Shit. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. But as you get older, you you appreciate no, no, how no, dude, absolutely I'm gonna sophisticated tell you, this list. This, list that this came out really was is iconic. This list that came out, we came out was great. Yes, my dad. He's from the east. He's from New York, and so and I'm from Compton and everything. So. I grew up in Compton listening to a lot of Biggie and stuff, and he kind of similarly looks like him. I'll show you a picture after. Right, 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 right. So, like, I was the guy on the on the West listening to a lot of the East. Yeah. Mm. And it was a good choice, you know, mm. just like this Yankee. That's that's one of the things that I think. Oh, I got so. one more. Jay Dilla. Jay Dilla. Jay that's why I wish we were still alive. Jay you, Dilla. That's real shit, right? Mm -hmm. Jay Dilla. A lot of people, explain to, explain to them at home. They, they need to hear. Who's Jay Dilla? Jay Daisy, man, oh my goodness. Jay Dilla, my brother turned me on. My older brother is my music mentor. I shared a room with him Gone and he exposed me to everything. Yep. But Jay Dilla is the beat maker's beat maker. Yes. Mm, He's absolutely. the beat maker's beat maker. I'm a big, big MPC 3000 sampling vinyl. That's my shit. Mm -hmm. That was something I've been doing that since the 90s. Love it. It's an art form. When I show the kids now, because everybody works in a DAW now, and everything's very horizontal. We're working on a drum machine, a sampling drum machine like the MPC 3000 or yeah. the SB 1200. Everything is, it's more vertical. It's like tuning things up, tuning things down. And you have to make right. it work rhythmically with the speed it's at. Where with the DAW, you can, it's just, you can manipulate anything. Mm -hmm. So you have to make more executive decisions the hus with the, a sampling. It's skill, right? It's skill. Yeah. It's more skill. The, it, it's what it comes down to. The yes. less options you have, the more creative you have to be. Absolutely. The more options you have, I'm no diss to anybody that makes dope shit in a dog, because I work use a dog also. But that's being said, when you're dealing with less stuff, X amount of sampling time, you got to find your own sound, you got to this and that, you got to speed up sooner. It really makes you be creative. Thanks. And Jay Dilla really is that guy. He was the first guy, for all you beat makers out there, something mm -hmm. called quantizing. Quantizing Ooh. is if you're tapping and something in, like, tit, 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 and your timing is not real, tit, 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 not real good, the machine will. Take those beats and put it right on the grid so it's in time. What Jay Dilla did, he would not quantize oh, his hi hats. So his kick and his snares would be on the boom, da, but the hi hat would be. T, 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 t. It would it would drag, push and pull, not quantize. So therefore, it would make it wobble. Right. It would make it wobble as opposed to everything being quantized. Yep. It sounds like a machine. It's crazy. So that's how you do it: is not quantize, turn quantize off. And then you tap it in manually, so you have a few things that are on the on the grid, Facts. but the other things are not, and that's what gives it that wobble. And he was the master at that, and the master at great digging, finding samples, and that's the holy grail of OG. I'll say this, everybody: literally every beat you m mechanical beat that you heard on the radio from the '90s up to like 2005 was made with either an MPC or an SP1200 drum machine. And that was cats taking vinyl, 
looking for samples, drop a needle, looking for a little break, a little sound. They'd sample it in. They'd have this collage of different sounds, and they would create beats with that. That was really how, that was all the beats that were made from the 90s up to like 2005. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's really it's, something. It's, it's Getting your history something. here, compadre. Yeah, it's yeah. something. It's something. Getting your history. It's a real craft. That Jay Dilla description, bro, I mean, damn. That's it. <laughs> that's that was, exactly that's real talk that's exactly why he's the favorite beat maker's favorite beat maker yeah, absolutely yeah. absolutely because he i mean that was skill that slum village uh fantastic oh. one two record that's i say that's probably one of the top 20 best rec- yeah. hip-hop records ever made yeah Sheesh. fantastic slum village that's my brother uh, Swarm P. Yeah. yes 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 we are at the positive period of the podcast it's... where we leave some positivity for the compadres until oh. next week nice so fresh yeah. please do us the honor and leave the compadres with some positivity my brother oh my goodness mm-hmm. beautiful we didn't even get into no tomfoolery we didn't uh, we really. didn't get no time this we got a very good... this is a very heartfelt cerebral you know emotional thing going on it's a new flavor all right, right. 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 we had no idea it was gonna go no, this way yeah. we right. never know how it's going we, we just run it hey, i want to talk operator. about my drug stories only fans i guess it looks like compadres is starting on only fans not only fans only fools only fools hey there we go we literally don't talk before this, so like it just it just went this it way. It just organic. Yeah. Yeah. It does it's every time. time. Yeah. It's organic, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was nice. Yes, I would say I would say there's nothing more there's nothing more more gratifying in the world, and most people don't get the opportunity to do this because they are responsible adults and they have families and they 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 let go of their dreams and just have to get a job and do work like my father did. My father was an artist, is an artistic individual. Very creative, an athlete, but he had a family and he went and got a job and worked his job. Same with my mother, especially my father, though. And so a lot of people have to sacrifice their their dreams and their goals, you know, to do the right thing for their families. Um, so I say this: it's essential. Is there's nothing more? There's nothing more gratifying in the world than doing something that you absolutely love and you can make a living from it. There's nothing more gratifying in the world. It's a rare gift. So I would say anybody that doesn't have that Sorry. opportunity to live their bliss and make a living, even if you have to just make a living and it's not your bliss, still explore your bliss. Still explore your bliss. Have it as a side hustle. Have it as as something that you do, something that you would do without without being asked to do it. What do you enjoy? Like my daughter, she loves writing. She's, she's an engineering uh, uh, major, but she loves writing screenplays. Oh, wow. Like, yeah, she's absolutely, and she puts together playlists. So I say to anybody, whatever your passion is, don't let it go. Do it. Do it. Even if you have a hustle, do it, because that's going to that's gonna fulfill your life nice. so much more. So I like I'll that. leave you with that. That was a good one. Mm-hmm. I'll leave you with that. You've been, you've been mm-hmm. just throwing mm-hmm. darts all day, my man. man. Damn, man. Big bullseyes. You know, because well, we I mean, I think, off with the shots, so. I think yeah. every last one of us thing. can apply that to life yeah. right now in life. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely, that's, that's real talk. So hard. Like you can, that's that's really just like good, your brother's man. doing. Yeah, man, it's right. yeah. so hard because you're absolutely you hit the nail right on the head with that. Yeah, one hundred percent. I mean, look at you, brothers, man. It's mm-hmm. like you live in your bliss, man. I remember when you all started, man. Yeah, remember you all started. Look at you now, man. Here with Mark, Ma- Mark living his yeah. bliss, man. It's just this a beautiful yeah. thing, bro. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's it's extremely touching for me yeah. to be to be a part of this. To see it's the a growth. beautiful <laughs> thing to hear you say. I like that. Look, look, Uncle Tony. No, I'm just kidding. Uncle Joey. Uncle Joey. But hey, you can go and use that. That's great. Uncle Joey. This shit is funny. I love this guy, man. Oh, man. He is the quintessential, just like New York, no bullshit. And I'm not even from there. It's the best thing about it. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Who got the next positivity? My cheeks are hurting him over here. I will. I'm done. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm starting to write them down now because I want I want to say it correctly mm-hmm. and not just spew some get money. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and I'll admit I've done that a couple times. Yeah, just because that's a good saying, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> Forever is composed of nows. Life becomes more meaningful when you realize you won't get the same moment twice. So what that means to me is 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 basically you know like. Living in the moment is one thing. YOLO is one thing. Everybody's thing in their in their head, you know. But like, uh, 
really take that in, right? And you got to realize, like, because a lot of people think it's going to come right back. Mm -hmm. No, that 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 20, 20, that 50, that whatever, it's going to come right back. But if you're living in the moment, man, that's just like a, a great thing at that time, you mm -hmm. know. Get get your put your phone down and and live in that moment. Mm. And you know what I, I I God that really touched me right now because there's so many moments that I don't have pictures of them but I have them in my head. Yes, mm. absolutely. And those that dude. that's the best thing. I, I have yeah. them in my mind. You know, and that's yeah. that's that was deep. I like that, that photographic one. memory is way better than the yeah. memory space you can yeah, have on these things. Oh, one hundred percent. Experiences. Yes. Experiences. Experiences are true value. Absolutely. Facts. You know, Seriously. absolutely. Experiences. Yeah. Experiences. It's amazing. Cool yeah. beans. Yeah, beautiful. I got just this. Believe. Believe in yourself regardless of if anyone does or doesn't. You know, uh, self-belief is going to make everybody else believe. And you believing yourself is going to add more drive, more convention, and just more want to go and get whatever it is that you want to get. But it all starts with you having self-belief. So believe in yourself. Right. Padres, I like that. That's so true. Bless. Um, I Bless. wanted to, to uh, <laughs> I'm going to do this. I wanted to say thank you to so many people. Hey. Um, you know, I lost my dog. Oh. And, I, you know, people that are my family that aren't blood were there. And the appreciation and everybody reaching out, this, it's a hard mm -hmm. time. And um, I'll be dropping some real shit about him soon and about the experience and just having him. So mm. I wanted to just thank everybody mm. who reached out to me by phone, by text, by Instagram. And um, I'm getting better hour by hour, and I'll get through it. So mm -hmm. I just didn't think I was going to tear up again. But, hey, hey that's man. what men hey, do. You know what? So, it. Grown All ass man. you guys hey. out there, thank you very much. And everybody in this room, too, thank you guys. Hey, he gets me every time. And I just got to say this on behalf of myself and everyone else here, man. Thank you for sharing him with us, man. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing him. him no, I mean, he, you know, the thing about how he was, he he touched so many people's funny. lives, and mm. he was part of the podcast. He, he, we yeah, talked yeah, about it. Everybody, go, much, everybody right. knew him. Even though Mark was allergic to him, we met him a couple times in life. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just it's one of those things. He was my family. He lived a great life. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So He lived a great life, Yeah, he did. He was a great dog. He was a great dog. I appreciate him knocking down I will be doing a piece for him next week, and I just want to keep getting better every day so thank you guys beautiful that's Absolutely. great and that was, that's man. real shit man i wish that's i real. had uh tissue to pass show yeah, that's good, right bro, now, man. yeah. But, just get that left one man yeah, that's right. Right. Like, like we say yeah, compadres it's, it's not about you know us it's about every one of us you know facts you know it's not you know just about what we can right. do for ourselves it's what we can do and be for other people and stuff like that so even if it just means to just be there to be a shoulder or an ear for somebody yeah, to, for to, sure. to listen and listen to understand and just be supportive of whatever it is it is, you know. Just be the crutches to somebody who needs them, yeah. no matter what. Because I don't even want to say there comes a time. Don't do it because there's going to come a time. Facts. Do right. it because it's pure from the heart. Yep. Stop doing things with, you know, with repercussions in it. Because yeah, it's yeah. ingenuous. Absolutely. Disingenuous. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just, you know, do everything full from the heart. Like Agreed. I said, I got a lot of it. So if I need to share some with y'all <laughs> so y'all can be, you know, more heartful to people and stuff and stop thinking of yourselves. Please. Big time. Please. I want to say this really quick, and I want to pass it back to you really quick, and, okay. and we'll, we'll we'll finish and we'll wrap it, we'll wrap up the episode. But for everybody that's listening and watching, like Joe, that was not like Joe. Like w Joe finally just opened up about this. So you know, for everybody, you know, don't think this was a joke. Like no, hey I mean, man, I'm been, sure everybody yeah, bro, saw our socials man. what I yeah, put out a couple crazy. weeks ago and everything else. And crazy, like I said, yeah. yeah, that's real. Yeah. So like, yeah, I just want to yeah, say it was, it was definitely yeah, it's a out moment. It's a moment. Socials and stuff. <laughs> People, yeah. you know, they always are like, you mm -hmm. know, no, no, bro, Joe's he. Hey, man, you good know, for you, man. I appreciate you. even some of the mm. people that saw mm. it through my social that reached out. Yeah, or man. Said something to you in yeah. person and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, we're all here for you, brother. No, no right. everybody has been. I really yeah. appreciate it. I know who yeah. isn't now, too. So it's yeah. always yeah. a good thing. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man. At least you didn't almost have to lose your life to find I mean, that out. You, I mean, like you I just, at the end of the day, you know what's, what's right and wrong or who's there and who's not. And you, right. you yeah. find Big out facts. when you have something like this go on, too. Yeah. So it's all good. Got you, dude. Okay. Absolutely. Hey, Man, compadres, that was a hell of an episode. Sure yes, was. it was. You know what time we're, you know what time it is. We're at that moment. Right. 
That's at C O M P O D R E S. And to my left, Joe Rosati himself. You guys have a good one. Take care over there. And also to my right, the ill son himself. I un underscore ill son. And ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Mr. Daryl Swan. Hey. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Let them know again your handles. Boy, that's a good one. <laughs> It's Daryl. It's at Daryl Swan, double N. D A double R Y L S W A double N. There you go. Dang, that was a very good memory for someone who did not remember. Plus, Mosh Pit Live. I mean, Pit Live. It's a lot going on. All of that. Yes. All of that. Go check them out, man. Thank you for having me, fellas. Thank you for having me, fellas. Appreciate you. Thank you again. You've been A1 since day one. You were very prominent in the start of us. You know, I still have the speakers to this day. That's beautiful. So, yeah, man. Man, you create you helped us create a sound. So beautiful. we talk Again, about that. We shit. talk about oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> we talked about it that's a lot. Beautiful. Dude. All right. So I'm before I go you. even more deeper in this tangent, compadres, <laughs> I am your host, SB Press, and like that, we're gone. Honey, we're gone. All the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's, I gotta get a no call to quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets.